Hi guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks practice. So can you just confirm that if I'm audible? Yeah, good afternoon, Satvik. Okay, great, great. Thank you for the confirmation, guys. So let me share my screen, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, Satvik, uh, we'll, we'll start with the question. So let me share my screen. Yeah, hi, everyone. So guys, uh, today I have a good news for all of you. So I'll just uh, share that. See, in this uh, page, okay, we have live courses as well as online courses, right? So whatever paid courses we have over here, okay, you will be getting a discount coupon for that, okay? And I'll be just pasting the discount coupon in comments. So just a second. Yeah, so this is the coupon code, okay? So you can avail 10% discount uh, for all the paid courses over here, okay? And if there are any issues, you can let me know in the comments, okay? So let's let's go uh, to the problem of the day, okay? That was uh, for yesterday. So the question was three sum closest, right? So let's have a look at it. All right. Uh, so the question is three sum closest. Now, as you all must be aware that I discussed the question in detail on the whiteboard. So let's let's go over there. Okay. And after that, we'll come to the practice portal of weeks for weeks. Okay. So I hope it is visible to you. Let me just check the comments once. Okay, yeah, great. Fine. So the question says three sum closest okay so let's try to understand what do we mean by the question so given an array of n integers great so by this we now we we know that we have an array of n integers fine where the value of n is 4 let's say over here and apart from that an integer x is also given to us okay so over here the x is 1 what is the task the task is to find the sum of three integers in the given array such that it is closest to x. Okay. So the question is pretty simple. Basically, we need to do triplet sums and we need to find out the most closest sum to x. Right. That's it. That's it. That's it about the question. If we are able to get the exact sum, that's very great. If we are not able to get the exact uh, triplet sum equal to x, then we at least need closest to it. Right. Fine. So I hope the question is clear to everyone. This is a, a very simple description of the question. If anyone has any doubts in the question, do let me know in the comments. Okay. Okay. So let me just try to explain more with the help of few sample inputs. Over here, n is 5. The array elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, and minus 5. Okay. So what are the combinations we can take? Like, like we can take any 3, right? Our wish. So few of the samples are shown over here and if you observe then we can closest what we can get is 9 okay with the help of this 2 3 uh, 4 it's uh, fine right similarly if we have a look over here we have x is equals to 1 right so we need only three numbers okay we need exactly three numbers and it should always be taken right so if you find out over here for x equals to 1 what max you can go you max can take uh, closest to uh, two for this and two will come from if you take these three numbers right great fine so if the question is clear uh, now let's let's go to the uh, logic of this okay 
just let me know uh, if you have if you still have any doubts okay okay guys so if the question is clear uh, let's if the question is clear uh, yeah great so if the question is clear let's let's go to the uh, brute force approach of the solution okay like what we can do i think most of you will be knowing this okay but still let me show it to you like i need some space so what we are going to do is if i have this given input array okay 1 2 3 4 minus 5 right we can take all possible triplets okay all possible combination of triplets like we can take 1 2 3 okay uh, we can take uh, 1 2 4 okay we can take 1 2 minus 5 right uh, similarly like what else we can take we can take 1 3 4 okay we can take 1 3 minus 5 right and yeah like we can take 1 4 minus 5 and so on like there will be many right so brute force will be to generate all the possible triplets and check the closest one okay that's it as simple as that so let let me show you the pseudo code for that how we can do that yeah yeah that will be three loops right right so three loops uh, each loop uh, you'll see okay L let me show it to you like how can we do so, okay let me write it so let's say i have uh, an outer for loop okay int i equals to 0 i less than n where this is my n okay or let me keep it capital n no issue and i plus plus right okay i need one more for loop basically i'll keep track of uh, first three okay then i will move from here to here then i'll move from here to here okay and after i finish i move this i remove from pointer from from two and i start from this i go on till the end okay you will see okay don't worry uh, you will get to know how i am writing so after that in j equals to i want one greater than i basically to the right of i j less than n j plus plus okay after that you have for and as i said uh, you need now one greater than j okay so k less than n and k plus plus uh okay utkarsh is asking uh, about pro geek cup 21 okay so yeah uh, utkarsh like i do not have much idea about it to be honest right now Oh, so i will not be able to provide any insight for that really sorry but yeah like if you need uh, you can uh, pin it in the comments my team will look into it okay so yeah these are the three loops okay i equals to 0 i less than n j equals to i plus 1 basically initially my i for i it will be over here for j the pointer will be over here and for k it will be over here right so we are checking the first triplet 1 2 3 okay so what i need to do in in general scenario let's say this was not closest okay i just need to find the triplet sum what would i have done i would have done something like this right let's name this as a okay it's already named as capital a so i would have done something like if ai plus aj plus ak equal equals to my x or not right i would have straight away checked for equality right but and right now i don't want to check for equality like e equality is there that's great i want to see even if if equality is not there i want to go to the closest right so let's see how we can do that for that we'll need a variable okay let's take a global variable let's take it as closest sum we initialize it with max okay this is just a pseudo code guys okay yeah fine we have initialized it with max and now basically we'll have our answer in closest sum only okay now we'll check the difference okay now how i am going to check the difference so i'll be taking the absolute value of x minus closest sum or just a second let, let me write it in more intuitive way more intuitive way in the sense if okay if okay i see there are a lot of comments
ओके आई शुड रन फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन माइनस थ्री ओके आदित्य जीरो टू एन माइनस थ्री ओके सो यूर सेंग लास्ट यू गोइंग टू पिक दिस ओके आदित्य लेट से यू राइट जीरो टू एन माइनस थ्री फाइन बट सी वॉट्स गोइंग टू हैपन ओवर यर वॉट यू हैव एस आई इज लेस देन एन राइट सो इफ समेर यू कम ओवर यर ओके और लेट से इफ समेर यू हैव रीच माइनस फाइव वॉट वॉट इज द इंडेक्स इंडेक्स इज फोर राइट Zero, one, two, three, four. So whenever you check over here, it's going to become false because j is equal to five and five less than four. It's not going to allow to you. Is that okay? Is that making sense? Like it's it's not at all going to allow itself because of checks over here also. Okay. Now now let me come to the code. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great, Aditya. So uh, let's let's come to the code. So what I am saying is, okay. Are there any more comments? Okay. So if math dot abs absolute value of target minus okay ai plus aj. Plus a k. If this is less than okay, if this is less than, it means in future. If I get uh, uh, if this is less than x minus closest sum. Okay, then what I need to do? I need to update my closest sum. Okay, let me just zoom out a bit. Uh, guys, this is a very easy code. I hope all of you are getting it. Okay, if you have any doubts, do let me know. So, what I'm going to do? I'm going to update my closest sum with uh, the value of a i plus a j plus a k, right? That's it. I'll be closing all of them. So, this is the closing for if one, two, three, right? So, yeah. So, are there any questions? so is this clear guys like what's happening see let me change the color okay i think there is one more closing of braces yeah this one for this abs fine great and this is for this every time i'm doing its summation subtracting it from uh, the target or the x okay if it is equal then you will get zero at times okay like you will get zero like if the triplet sum is exactly equal to x otherwise what you are doing you are every time comparing if it is less than your previous x minus closest sum so initially x if you take x minus closest sum there is a very huge value so obviously for the very first time your closest sum will get updated to something right because this according to language like in java we will take integer dot max underscore value similarly language language differs but i hope the intuition is clear like every time this difference is becoming lesser and lesser we are updating our closest sum is it fine so the time complexity of this approach is going to be in the order of n cube where n is the number of elements in my given array right uh, the time complexity of of this approach is uh, in the order of n cube uh, let's let's move to the efficient approach okay Yeah, so over here, uh, as you could see, I have taken target and all those things. Yeah, so we have initially sorted the array, taken difference. Okay, difference. I'm um, initialized with max. Answer equals to zero. Running of all loop from i equals to zero. Start equals to i plus one. End equals to n minus one. Why? Because if you look at it, okay, let let me take one sample input just a second. So let us let us take this only one two three four minus five, and we want ten, right? And we want ten, right? So after sorting, this becomes minus five one two three four, right? You have taken you have already taken this, and you are somewhere calculating your. Uh, target x minus a i. So your x was ten. So ten minus minus of five. So basically, you are searching for fifteen, right? 
you your start is i plus one so why i plus one because you you want to you want to start from here now right from the position where one is there your end is n minus one so you are over here and you are searching something closer to 15 in this right so after that i come inside see uh, this could be written very smartly okay so what i am saying is if my absolute value of difference between a start plus a and target is less than the already previous value of difference then please update my difference and for time being let's store this as answer when you go to the next iteration and after that if you again find that this difference is uh, not uh, means this difference is not greater than the already calculated difference then what you need to do you need to shift you need to shift your start and end pointers right so how you shift that if a start plus a end is greater than target so what do you want now if it is if a start plus a end is greater than target you want some lesser value right because we are trying to approach to our target so how can you approach to a number if it is if it is greater than your number how should you approach you can somewhere see how to make that summation small so can i say if you move this end pointer from right towards left then only you can move this summation small because the array is sorted and you are allowed to move this to the left like end pointer to the left so you will get some smaller number see because if you if you want to move start let's say let's take the contradiction if you if you want to move start then what is wrong you are increasing your number right because it's sorted it's sorted in ascending order so you should do n minus minus over here and in the opposite case you should do start plus plus right so is this making sense guys so any any doubt in this see this is very simple code okay okay satvik if it's if it's clear that's great uh, fine so let's let's go and execute this okay so output we are getting is 2 and this is correct also right minus 1 2 minus 1 4 yeah output should be 2 let's submit it okay so we are getting the correct answer so yeah you can go with this solution and the time complexity of this is going to be in the order of n square right so this is the thing so time complexity is order of n square right yeah so guys this was it like a pretty simple and pretty short lesson uh, you can have a look at a easier version of this question like finding the exact triplet or you can also have a look at how to find uh, let's say if there are pair presented or not okay which is which is equal to a given sum you can solve that also with two pointer approach so two pointer approach is very much helpful okay at times it helps you a lot and apart from all this uh, there are few good questions also which are asked in interviews there is a problem called celebrity problem okay you can try that problem with two pointer approach okay so th th it has nothing to do with this question okay but i it just came into my mind because it's a very famous interview question and you can solve it in multiple ways okay okay guys so that's it from my side okay all right so thank you thank you guys for joining geeks for geeks practice uh you you have been a, a great audience okay okay so dhananjay is also commenting thank you dhananjay Okay guys thank you thank you for joining geeks for geeks practice